It's a dry world out there. Every year, over 40% of our planet's land suffers from drought. And over 2 billion people call this parched land home. So how do you live off of this land? How do you grow food here? Just ask Yacuba Sawadalgo. His farm in Burkina Faso is in the middle of Africa's Sahel region, a band of semi-arid land that stretches across the entire African continent. It's a transition zone between the Sahara Desert to the north and tropical savannas to the south. But in the 1970s and 80s, a series of severe droughts racked Yacuba's country and much of the Sahel. In addition, trees vital in helping soil to retain water were cleared for new farms, firewood, and construction. Drought, deforestation, and degraded land led to desertification. In other words, the only thing actually growing was the desert. But while others abandoned their homes, Yakuba stayed. Going against conventional wisdom, he worked his land at the height of the dry season, when the ground can be as hard as concrete. He was considered crazy by everyone. But there was a method to his madness, and he called it Zai. He worked out that before the rains, he had to be ready to capture every precious drop. He started by digging hundreds of small pits that could catch water during the rainy season. Within these pits, he planted seeds, dung, and organic material like leaf litter, and a magic ingredient, termites. The termites crisscrossed Yakuba's fields through a series of small underground tunnels. They became Yakuba's natural irrigation network. When the rains finally arrived, the water could then sink deep into the land. Yakuba fought for every single drop of water. To reduce runoff and erosion, he built small stone walls to prevent surface water just flowing away before it had a chance to soak into the soil. His final stroke of genius was to plant trees on his land. These new trees held down and protected the restored topsoil from strong desert winds. Their roots helped the soil retain the water he fought so hard to keep. In the very first year, it was clear Yakuba was doing something right. Very quickly, he was feeding his family with the new crops. And in 20 years, he transformed an arid land into 30 acres of forest with over 60 species of trees. Yakuba's forest transformed the microclimate. The increase in trees meant more shade, lower temperatures, more windbreaks, and less erosion. Crucially, the trees raised the water table, making life-giving water more accessible. Over the past 40 years, his farming techniques have been adopted by millions of people and helped fight desertification around the world. Come harvest time, Yakuba now needs the help of his whole village to bring in his crops. No longer considered crazy, Yakuba is now the local and global hero.